Hi, I'm Terry and this is Still Blanche, my self-converted micro camper. Um, so in the last video I did a van tour, but I said I would come back and do a separate video for the electrics, which is what I'm doing now. Um, I was hoping that I still had some footage of when I was installing the electrical system, but apparently I don't. So, so I've done a diagram and I shall explain how it's all wired up. Um, I'll also like kind of like add in images of the actual products that I've used and I'll show the products as well as I'm going through. Um, and just as a disclaimer, I am not a qualified Sparky. I did a ton of research though when I was working out the electrical system for a year. Um, also, my dad is a trained electrician and he like kind of looked it over and said it was fine. Um, but yeah, so hopefully there'll be stuff that you find interesting in this video. Um, so I guess we'll start with the diagram. So this is the basic diagram of the different components I have. Um, so I'll just label those. So this is my leisure battery. And that is housed at the side here, um, just down here. Um, the battery that I have is a 100 um, amp hour battery. Um, and I got it from Europort. I'll put a little picture of it up. Um, I have a solar panel. Excuse my writing, it's terrible. So the solar panel is 100 watt. And it is a 12 volt panel. And then I have my car battery. I have 12 volt touch lights. Um, my main switch panel, a little negative block, the solar control, I have a relay switch to charge from the car engine and a kill switch to turn that off. Right. So, in terms of wiring up, um, just give that a little negative and a positive. So, the leisure battery, the solar, and the switch panel are all connected to this solar control, which I'll put a picture of so you can see what it is, and I'll also show you. Um, so, both the negative and the positive are both wired into that. The leisure battery is also wired in here. And then the control panel is wired in to this. So that's the basic way of charging my battery, is the leisure battery that gets charged by the solar. I also have a relay switch which runs from my car battery. Um, this is just wired in via a positive and that's wired into the kill switch, which means I can turn it off so I haven't got to worry about it drawing on my car battery. Like technically it shouldn't anyway, but just in case there was a problem with the relay switch, I like to have a kill switch. And then that's into the relay and then the relay is attached directly to the battery under the, po under the positive. So the lights are, if I just put the positive and the negative coming into it. So all of the positive is connected. And all of the negative which leaves this with just the two wires those wires are connected via so the negative block is where all of the negatives for the switch panel go into so that just gets wired into there 
and the positive goes directly into the switch panel. The switch panel I have has fuses already on it, um, so I don't have a fuse block separate, I just have the um, negative block. And that is pretty much it, but obviously it's very hard to understand it just from that. And that's pretty much it, but I understand that that's very confusing to try to look at an illustration and make sense of it all, so I'll show you the different elements now. Um, obviously it's all wired in, so it's a little bit trickier. Just to add as well, the leisure battery also gets earthed via uh, running a cable from the negative um, part of the battery direct to some of the bare metal on the van, and that just like grounds it, I think. I think it's called grounding it. Um, but. I'll move my front seat forward so we can get a proper look at the battery and you'll be able to see what I mean by that. Hopefully it makes sense. So this is my switch panel. Um, I have the lights, I have the fairy lights wired into it and also the touch lights. It has two USB points here, it has the um, voltage meter and then a, like a cigarette 12 volt adapter here. Um, what I'll just do is I'll unscrew it so you can see how it's all wired up behind. Right, so if I loosen this down, you'll be able to see behind here. So each of the switches have got a positive and a negative going into it. This comes all wired up so you don't have to worry about it. Um, and then each of the positives on the switches have a fuse. Um, so you don't have to have a separate fuse block for this. Um, we can just feed these wires out a little bit. You can see this is my negative block, so it just means all of the negative cables get put in here. And then you make these little jumps for the other side, just to keep the circuit closed. Um, so yeah, so the two cables that come out from this that get wired to the battery come from the USB on this one so you can see I've just used a little casing to extend that cable so it can reach my leisure battery and the same on this negative block you can't quite see but it's on the other side of here Let's just feed them all back in and I just mounted this on a bit of wood just drew around where everything was and then mounted that up there right so all of my electrics are just stored under this in this box which has the lid that lifts up I normally have this mounted on here but I've just moved it up to here so you can get a better look at it so this is the solar control panel you can see everything is linked up to this so this is for my switches so I've just got this cable running to the switch panel my switches the middle one is for the battery um so i've got like two heavy duty cables here and that just goes on to the positive and the negative these little um wing nuts to keep them in place on both sides and then lastly it's my solar power solar power cables and again, that just, I put a hole in the roof and I've got them feeding behind here. So those two cables are for my solar. I have just tucked it behind the panel a little bit. I should really neaten it up, but I haven't. Um, and then this cable is for my lights. So you can see that just goes behind and into the switch panel. Looks a bit messy, but it does all make sense. Um, in terms of other things that are wired into the battery, I also have a display which just shows how charged my battery is. And that's just these two little thin wires here and they just go directly to the battery. Um, and then I also have, let's say, this line here which comes out, I'll show you on the other side, that you can see that directly onto the van, onto the bare metal. And then that just feeds up through the back of this box and onto the negative connector. Whew, I think that's it. So if I have a look at the front, you can see this is my kill switch. That just turns off 
the relay and that's linked up directly to the relay and they are both hooked up to the engine so here you can see how I've connected it to the engine just with a little wing knot and then the cable feeds all the way around the side um, I used a bit of wire just to access the front section just so I could see whereabouts it would connect um, it takes a little bit of messing around but you can normally find it um, and then the cable just feeds all the way along underneath the door panel and then around the back seat and up to where the kill switch is um, yeah that's it and then if we head up onto the roof you can see this is where I've mounted my solar panel it's got these little brackets this is the housing for the cables just to make sure that there's no water gets in I used a lot of Sikaflex for this just to make it watertight um, and yeah then that's, that's the solar panel So in terms of the electrics, that's pretty much it. Um, I know I mentioned it on the van tour, but if you're planning on using anything with a three-point plug, that needs to be converted. Um, so you need an inverter because um, the electrical system in the van is 12 volt, but a three-point plug would use a 12 volt because it's used for being used inside the house. So this little inverter was perfect. It means that I can hook it up directly to my little switch panel um, and you can see it's got a place for the three point plug here and then the two little USBs um, and that's really handy and I think that was about like 30, 40 quid from Amazon. <laughs> um, I do struggle a little bit if I run that cool box all the time with that having just that one battery um, so I don't tend to use that a lot um, but yeah I think that I might end up investing in another leisure battery. Um, and that's pretty much it so i hope you found this useful um i'm sure i've already forgot so, like some things or if you've got any questions then please just drop them in the comments below and i'll do my best to answer them um i would recommend just doing your own research like watch there's a sh shed ton of videos oh and yeah like so i also used um like a little electrical kit where you can like just uh, crimp onto the end of the wires to make it easier to wire in. Um, I got mine from my favourite DIY shop, which is my dad's shed. Unfortunately, that's not open for the public, so um, you can normally get them from like Screwfix or something. So I'll pop a picture of that like this, this kit. If I put the video, if I put, if I don't put the picture in, that's gonna look really weird. Um, but yeah, so I'll pop a link down in the description of all the items. Oh, thank you so much for watching. It's ridiculously hot here, so apologies for my like glistening glow. Um, and yeah, I hope you found it useful. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, and watch the videos if it's actually travelling, because they're much nicer than these. Um, thank you. Enjoy your day. Bye.